Hey Wargamers, it's Chris with Wargame Creations, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video series on how I achieve high quality prints on my Ender 3 V2. Stay tuned. The first section we'll work on is quality. Our first setting we have is layer height and our second setting is initial layer height. The initial layer height is going to be the first layer that is put down by the 3D printer. I usually leave this at a thickness of 0.2 millimeters and the layer height at a thickness of 0.2 millimeters as well. You can also use adaptive layers which I will get into in a later video but for now we will just stick with the quality. Line width I keep at 0.4 millimeters. The reason I keep this at 0.4 millimeters is the nozzles that I use are 0.4 millimeter nozzles. You could slightly bump this down to 0.36 I've heard some people having pretty decent success with and it should help clean up a little bit of your quality but if you follow this series and your settings are correct and your printer is tuned correctly you shouldn't have any issues with any poor quality prints next thing we're going to move on to is the initial layer line width I leave that at 100 percent because when the printer is laying down this first layer if it is not if your bed is not le leveled correctly the initial layer height of 0.2 may be a little bit off and it can actually smush this I guess you could say well all of these walls together so when it's too close to the printer bed it'll smush it and it'll what's called elephant foot so it'll flare out at the bottom and you'll have this basically edge of plastic going around the entire model that sticks out further than say like the second layer would so some models it's a bigger issue than others like if you have holes like this where you need to connect things together and you have this set at a hundred percent and you find that consistently this hole ends up protruding out and it's blocking the the entrance so that you can't put anything else like in here like things don't fit cleanly together you can either take a knife and just clean up the edges inside of there or you can adjust this percentage down a little bit and that'll help actually like recede the line inwards typically with this setting I just leave this alone 100 percent is fine for me that way if there is any issue and I need to make adjustments on the fly for the first layer I can do it from the printer itself and not from the actual slicing software because once the model is sliced and put onto the USB and is in the middle of printing you cannot make adjustments so I like to utilize the printer as much as I can to change the settings and keep these settings as general as I can all right so that's the first video in the series please make sure to check out the second video which is going to be about the walls thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on for more videos like this in the future if there's anything else you'd like to see just please leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to it and answer all of your questions Thank you guys so much.